Everyone's so excuse the monstrosity that is on top of my head, but I'm just on my way to the hairdressers, which I'm so excited about because something has needed to be done with my hair for a very, very, very long time. If any of you know a girl called Morven from a blog called Cats and Rocking Chairs, I'm taking a picture of her and her hair to the hairdressers and basically going to say, please do it like this because I really like it. So that's hopefully sort of ish what it will look like, but by the time this video goes up, I probably would have posted a photo on my Instagram, so maybe I'll like insert it here or pop a link to it below if you guys want to see what it looks like. But in my next video, I will have a new font, which is quite exciting. But I thought I would do a products I've used up video, but one because I feel good when I do these videos, I'm like, yes, I'm using stuff up, and also it's just a bit of an excuse to do a bit of shopping and not feel so bad about it afterwards. So there's quite a few things here, these have mounted up over a very, very, very long time. I think some of it's even before I moved out, so some of these bits have been hanging around for like three months and it was just time to film this video so I can recycle bits and throw bits away. And I'm going to get started with candles. I've gone through so many candles since I moved out. I always have one in like the living area. At the moment I'm burning, what's it called, the White Company Winter, a big three wick one which is really nice. In the bathroom I burn like neon ones and then in the bedroom I burn a lot of the teak ones. So I love having candles like mainly on at all times. So I've gone through a lot and I went through these two and this is the Bay's Dip Teak Candle and the Figuere Dip Teak Candle and I've made them into cotton bud holder and a cotton pad holder which now sit in my bathroom and if you want to know how I did this I did a post on it so I'll link that below. But yeah, I really love both of these. I, I do like Bays, but Figure Out is definitely my favourite diptyque scent of them all. It doesn't smell like anything special in the shop, but then when you burn it in your house or your room, whatever, it's just so subtle, really like clean, fresh, and a bit figgy too. So I love that one. I will definitely be repurchasing that. Then there's a load of hair things, and I've never had coloured hair before. I've only ever had like semi-permanent dye on and that's once when I dyed it black when I went to uni I think my parents were like oh god what the hell is going on and then I also did it when I was at uni with like a ready plummy tone like when everyone did the whole Cheryl Cole thing how embarrassing <laughs> but those were only semi-permanent and they washed out after like eight washes so I'm gonna have to change up quite a lot of my hair care because I've never had to care for coloured hair before and hopefully I'm gonna have my hair coloured today so I don't think well this is the Bumble and Bumble Sunday shampoo which I love, I think I'm now, I've got another one already, I'm on my third one of it, but it's not suitable for coloured hair, so I think I'm going to have to like reserve this just for like on the scalp and then use a different shampoo through the ends, because hopefully I'm just going to have it dyed on the ends. So yeah, I'm not so sure I'm going to be able to go through this as quickly next time, but I love this, this is like the best, clarify, power, best clarifying shampoo that I've used, it leaves my hair so clean and I love it. Another thing is the Red Ken Body Fall Light Conditioner, and I've nearly finished up the shampoo that goes with this as well. It was nice, but I wasn't wowed. Like, the Bumble and Bumble Sunday shampoo is like a special, like, treat once a week shampoo, and I don't think I've found a shampoo or conditioner that works, like, fantastically for just day-to-day -day basis. Like, I've never particularly been wowed by anything, so these were nice, but I think I'm going to try some Kevin Murphy bits, which you can pick up from Feel Unique. So I think I'm going to go a bit wild with those because everything I've used from their range so far I really like. So I liked this but it, it just didn't really work for my hair. Then the Oscar Blondie Volumizing Dry Shampoo Spray, I picked this up when I went to America from Sephora and oh my god it's a gorgeous 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 dry shampoo that we can't get here in the UK which is such a bum because it's lovely. I really like this, I like the scent, it like really volumized my hair, it really didn't make it greasy at all, you couldn't like feel it in your hair. It was so nice and I'm so gutted that we can't get this here and next time I go away, which I'll be in a very long time, but next time I do go away I'll definitely be picking up like a big one of this. I think it's quite expensive but it's so, so nice. I love that one. Then two Philip Kingsley bits and this is the Philip Kingsley Elasticizer, which I love. I just always end up getting these in like beauty boxes or like bags, like goodie bags and stuff. And it's the, yeah, just fill it Kingsley last size. This is a small little one of it. I find I get like about three or four uses out of one of these little ones. It's the 40ml tube. Um, and so I do it like maybe once every two or three weeks. I use this before I shampoo my hair and I just put it through the ends. And if I'm feeling really adventurous, I'll like wrap my hair up in cling film on my head, which looks really, really bizarre. But it works so nicely at just like keeping the ends really soft. 
you've got any like damage in your hair, it's good for that. And I just find after I use it, my hair just feels really soft and really like nice and luscious. So I do like this, and I'm definitely considering picking up like the big tubs of it that you get. Then the Philip Kingsley Exfoliating Scalp Mask. This is supposed to exfoliate your scalp, basically, for people who've got like dry or like irritated or itchy scalps. And that kind of is me. I do find I get um, a bit of psoriasis on my scalp. I didn't really find it did this much, that much even. I think because I've got quite a lot of hair, I found it really dis difficult to actually massage it into my scalp because there's just so much hair in the way. So I didn't really apply it, manage to apply it too well, and then I just didn't particularly find that it did much. So this is perhaps one to miss, but the Philip Kingsley Elasticizer is definitely a thumbs up from me. Then two body bits. I've been going crazy for Soap and Glory. My bathroom is currently like covered. Soap and Glory paraphernalia everywhere. And this is the Foam Core Body Wash. I really, really like this. I think I prefer the scent of the Sugar Crush Body Wash, and that's what I've currently got in there at the moment. So I really like the Soap and Glory. Like, I like the packaging. I like the fact it's got a pump. Just really easy to like pump out a few spritzes when you're in the shower, or sometimes I pump some into my bath as well and just use it as like a bubble bath. But yeah, I think I prefer the scent Sugar Crush, but if you're not into citrusy sweet scents, then this is perhaps one to try. I know Lily Pebbles from White Heart today doesn't like the Sugar Crush scent at all, but she really, really likes this one. It's a bit more, I think it's got fig in it actually. Fig and orange, it's a bit more grown up, I guess. Then these, the Aromatherapy Associates bath oils. I got these for my birthday and I also had some for Christmas last year. So I've got loads of these little tiny things hanging around. Each one does about three baths and they're just a bath oil. You just put a capful in each bath and they smell so nice. Basically makes your whole house smell of your bath, whatever you put in the bath. And my favourite ones are the Support Breathe. This is the De-Stress Mind and I really like the peppermint. I think it's called peppermint and lavender is so nice as well like they're quite pricey so I don't use them like every time I get in the bath I'm like an everyday thing but for like special occasions on Sunday or something just stick one you need like one mil the tiniest amount into a bath and it makes it really super moisturizing and smells super super nice so I definitely will be picking up some more of these and I'm thinking of picking up like a big bottle of some of my favorite scents I think they're quite expensive maybe that maybe that's something to put on my Christmas then two bits for face, and I did do a bit of a mini space in cable the other day, so I will put the link to that below. There was only two bits, so I didn't bother doing like a video just announcing that I bought two bits, so I just put it into a blog post, and I'll link that up below. Um, and it's the Emma Hardy Amazing Face Natural Lift and Sculpt Marine Cleansing Balm. I have spoken about this many a time. I love it. I think you guys know that. It's basically the only cleanser I've used in like the last six, seven months, probably about seven months now. One tub of this last, lasted me seven months using it like twice a day as well. You need the tiniest amount and you just rub it in. It's like a balm. You just rub it into a dry face. And it's all gone. It still smells really nice though. <sighs> very, very fruity. Um, you just like massage it into your face, then get a warm washcloth and wash it off. And it's just the nicest cleanser. It's probably like my favourite part of my evening skincare routine. It's so nice. I use it in the mornings though as well. But yeah, I picked up um, one from Space and K already if we purchased it. But if you can get it from Feel Unique, my card wasn't working on there, I was having a bit of a nightmare. I would have got it from there because it's a bit cheaper. They always tend to have it on offer as well in all the different sets. So I'd recommend picking that one up from Feel Unique. Then the Cordelie Eau de Beauté Beauty Elixir. Like, everyone goes on about this. I've been through about two or three bottles now. And I've just realised I was using this as a toner. I've still got a mini one left that I like carry around with me when I'm travelling and stuff. I've just realised I have so many toners that I need to use up and at the moment I'm using the Aesop Parsley Seed one and just trying to get to the bottom of that. So I won't be repurchasing this ASAP. I like having a mini one because I like the scent. I find it's really like de-stressing. Like sometimes I feel a bit like sicky and stuff on coaches and things like that. And that really, really helps for that. So I like it as like a rescue remedy type thing. But in terms of a toner, I've just got so many others that I need to use up. And I think this works better in the summer. I think in the winter, I need something a bit more like it's going to put a bit more moisture back into my skin. So the Clarins are really good for that because they don't contain alcohol. And the Aesop one, the Parsi Seed one, I highly recommend. That's what I'm using at the moment. Then three makeup y type bits. And I never ever get to put makeup in here because I just don't go through makeup as rapidly as I go through everything else. But I've got two concealers. I've got the Collection 2000 Lasting Perfection. This is the in shade three. I love these. I've always got like some of these hanging around in my bag, in the side of my bed, in my beauty cabinet. They're kind of everywhere. 
but I really, really like this, and so oh, I, I think I've got three. I don't need to repurchase any anytime soon, that's for sure. Then the other thing is the By Terry Touche de Lute. This is the most nicest concealer ever in the world for like under eye, like dark circles. It is so nice. It's just the right amount of highlighting and concealing. I had the shade beige and it like clicked out its last bit and I was very, very sad. I've actually put this on my Christmas list. So I'm going to cross my fingers and wait till the end of December to see if that uh, goes to plan. But if not, I will definitely pick up another one of this because it is just the nicest thing. I've got quite bad under eye circles and at the moment I'm having to use the Bobbi Brown creamy concealer or the Origins Part Description ones, which, which are both nice, but this is just like the ultimate one. Then the other thing that featured in my Space and K haul was the By Terry Von de Rose lip balm. I love this. I love it so much. I wish I didn't like it. I wish I could be without it, but I was without it for about two weeks, and I was just thinking about it all the time. And when I went past Space and K, I was like, right, okay, let's just do this. Let's just go in. I had £10 to spend on my Space and K card. If you don't have an Endulge, I think it's called Endulge. It's like a Boots Advantage card type thing, but for Space and K. If you don't have one, get one because I've got so much money off of Space and K with that card. I think it gives you like five pounds when it's your birthday, and yeah, I had ten pounds worth of points to spend. So, it did kind of soften the blow, but it still upsets me that they put up the price like almost ten pounds since I bought my first hub like three years ago, which I just think is ridiculous. But it is such a nice lip balm. If you want to hear more about that. And then I've got like practically an ode to it in there, the blog post, so I'll link that up. But that is everything. Sorry if it's been a bit shadowy and like the sun's been out and it's been away, but I don't generally tend to film anymore. There you go, it's gone again. I don't generally tend to film anymore in like daylight, so, but I'm rushing out today to get my hair done, so I thought I would do this now. But yes, my next video will definitely be hair related, hair centric in some kind of way. And I hope you all have had a lovely weekend. I'm filming this on Friday because um, loads of my friends from home are coming up to stay with me. My boyfriend's left for the weekend. We're having like girls weekend. It's gonna be so good. And we're gonna see Spice Girls and Musical, which I'm so, I'm like more than ridiculously excited about. So by the time this video goes up, I will probably be looking a little bit worse for wear on Sunday morning, because I will be girl powered out. But I hope you've all had a nice weekend and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.